do you find it easy now to get naked in front of complete strangers? And is that kind of a skill that you've had to learn or have you always been kind of a natural exhibitionist? I've always, it's, I, it's always been natural to me. My mom is Icelandic um, and my grandmother is Icelandic and um, that's just has always been kind of a normal thing for me. I've never been ashamed of my body. Um, you know, I definitely have been a little more... Um, you know, closed off when, of course, when I was younger. But as I've gotten older, I've been so proud of my body. And to me, I'm all about like, you know, hashtag free the nipple <laughs> and stuff like that. You know, I don't think it's um, a bad thing to show your body. You know, I think that it's just along the way has become a, a stigma um, for women. And um, I think it's time to change that. You know, you should be own it. And, and, you know, not saying you walk around New York, you know, Fifth, fifth Ave naked, but uh, you know, don't be ashamed. Real of Lady it. Godiva moment, as you as you would. <laughs> naked and just fur, <laughs> faux fur. <laughs> Since you've become now this sort of global figure, whether you like it or not, have you had any ridiculously indecent proposals from guys? Do they send you horrendously, horrendously crazy stuff? Yes, I have DMs. <laughs> Actually, I think one of my favorite things to do on a Friday night is go through my DMs mm -hmm. because some of the things that I get, I've, you know, had people offer to pay me tens of thousands of dollars um, to go to dinner with me, um, lots of marriage proposals, lots of... Um, I even have had some crazy stuff happen on the street. People, a lot of people are trying to offer me money <laughs> to, to like, talk to them or go out with them, and I'm like, I don't want your money. <laughs> what would you say is the average percentage of penis pictures that you get sent? Oh, a lot. At least, probably at least five a day. and it's Five penises a day? I'm telling you, it's bad. You know what? I think there's something about that. I think guys must get off or something. Of it, like seeing, maybe she's going to open it, maybe not. It's pretty bad, Ash. I got to say. How about you? I personally have never received any penis pictures. I'm okay. feeling very left out at this point of you the know, interview. You know, I'll forward them. I appreciate that. Maybe maybe we should start a, a blog together. We could. Maybe yes. we should have like our own Tumblr blog, like the penises of Hunter McGrady. Let's do that. Yeah? Of Hunter McGrady's DM, yeah. Yeah, and we could just, we, we'll, we'll rotoscope out your body paint outfit and just wrap it around them. <laughs> so they're always just constantly wrapped around. Amazing. Is that like a good idea? I love this. Yes. Have you ever had a truly awful date before? Like a truly, like, need to hit the button, eject, abort date? You ever had that? Yes. What happened? Oh my God. That look. That look. Amazing. Well, this date, first of all, um, he was a producer and, um, well, I'm not going to go into full detail Okay, that's because fine. then it gets a little crazy and graphic, but this producer, um, all he talked about was himself and how much money he had and what he had. And at one point he took out his, uh, wallet and showed me how many hundreds, like hundreds he had in there. Um, that was pretty embarrassing. I've had some more dates like that. I feel like, guy, why are guys always trying to show me money? Like, who cares about money? I feel like guys are just all about showing me their money, and I'm like, I don't care, you know? What is that? Is that like a thing? I mean, you're asking the wrong person. I'm a journalist, so naturally broke. I, I would love to be able to be like, I can show you some money, but I think if I actually open my wallet up now to I show you. I want to see your, like, you dollar. You, you have ready? a Metro card. I have a Metro That's card. Hot. Thank you. I appreciate that. I have uh, in my wallet right now. Seven dollars. Five, six, I have eight, nine dollars. That's hot. Nine dollars. I, I can't buy you a Lamborghini, but I can buy you a filter coffee. That's all I'm you know? asking for, though, you know? But yeah, that same date, there were some other things but that I can't quite get into detail about. But... Why? Did it involve his penis? Possibly. Why does everything involve penises with you? <laughs> I feel like we've really hit up on a topic. I know. It's just a recurring theme, Hunter McGrady and penises. Listen, I want a talk show about that. Can we have, can that too, can Hunter we start McGrady. circulating Maybe, that? okay, so along with the Tumblr blog, we should also have maybe like a rate, a rate show. Okay. Where we just have, rate them. similar to this, but just a, a TV here. One Where we just ten. show penises. And you, okay. call Pornhub. Pornhub would, would fall over for that. They'd be like, yes, <laughs> yes, or quite, rather. Not quite where I want to go no? with this career. Are but, you sure? But, uh, yeah, I'm sure. But, um, 
You could be one of them. No, I don't mean like an actual like porn star. I mean like a sex advice person. Because yeah. they have people on Pornhub that aren't porn stars. Their intern's like really popular, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, she does all the interviews with all, all of the porn stars, but she isn't a porn star. Oh. See, there's a whole other side <gasps> to porn. I say this you... to someone that has to spend most of their time doing all these ridiculous shoots. Right. So, so you know. You know. That's why you know. That's why I know. I don't know. That's why porn. you know all about Pornhub. <laughs> um, so, so... Sorry, say about your to, back to your embarrassing date. You were saying that some things happened. Did he did he inappropriately reveal himself in a public location, or did he just, just kind of like jump on you inappropriately, or a bit of both? Bit of both. Bit of both. To be quite honest, just got it out middle of nowhere. A bit of both, yeah, and not impressive. Really? Not impressive. If it was impressive, I would say, well, obviously you would do that, but not impressive. <laughs> You're almost advocating if you've got a big willy that you can just get it out whenever. As long as it's impressive, that's fine. You might get arrested, but it's fine. But it's fine. It's fine. Have a little fun. <laughs> no, that's terrible. When was the last time you ever accidentally or intentionally streaked or, or was naked in front of people other than your Sports Illustrated cover? That doesn't count. Uh, pretty much any photo shoot that I do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm terrible. Like, people will have dressing rooms for me for, like, if we're shooting out in the streets or whatever. And I'm like, it's okay, you guys. Like, I'll just, right here. And they're like, are you, are you serious? And I'm like, yeah, who cares? Like, no one's, like, looking. And if they do, then, like, who cares? You know? So just to confirm, you've changed in the middle of a street before. Yeah. Regularly. On the regular. Before here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, right before you guys changed into this dress, honestly. <laughs> no, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> that would be quite impressive. That would be like, wow, that was, that's quite a bold move, especially yeah. in New York. Probably got some person screaming after you that you're the devil or something. Or like, I know, seriously. Jeez. 